Next tonight, the six-year-old dying from a brain-eating amoeba found in a Texas city's water supply. The state governor now issuing a disaster declaration for the entire county. Here's ABC's Elwin Lopez. Tonight, a disaster declaration for more than 300,000 Texans after a six-year-old boy died from a brain-eating amoeba found in Lake Jackson's water supply. That first head CT that they did on him did show the brain swelling. Josiah McIntyre first complained of a headache. Weeks later, he was dead. I'm angry and upset and sad and heartbroken. His death sparking a weeks long investigation, concluding that Josiah contracted the deadly amoeba, often found in warm water, at a neighborhood splash pad or from a water hose. Statistically, what happened to Josiah is extremely rare. There have only been 34 cases of free living amoebic encephalitis over a nine or 10 year period. Still, parents warned to be careful about their kids swimming and bathing. It's not about drinking water. It's about avoiding activities where the water goes into the nose. Tonight, Lake Jackson's mayor tells us he simply doesn't know when the water will be safe and is asking people there to be patient until this is resolved. Tom. Elwin, thank you for that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.